Episode 56, DK. Deprived in BAME, school children in London experience greater air pollution burden. Deprived in BAME, school children in London experience greater air pollution burden using a powerful new data set. We found that deprived and BAME children breathe in significantly more pollution at their primary school. Black residents are being exposed to more levels of illegal air pollution than any other ethnic group in some of the UK's major cities. Black residents living in sacrifice areas amid air pollution dangers, black people in London and Birmingham are exposed to more polluted air. This is a short list of research that have stood out to me. There are loads more. Would be interested in hearing from experts like at DR Gary Fuller, at Zero JHL, at Dwallace Wells, at Charlie underscore Baker 23, at Sabredrig 61. What are the pieces of air pollution research that have stuck with you? https colon slash slash samhe.org.uk slash question mark fbc lid equal sign iwar3 gu41c0k 4ugcwf70k1 cso9 cixmk90zg2f0gm534 nxajcc9 xr0kbmx-2ea samhe.org.uk Register your school web app. If you work or study at a school in the UK, we need your help. Get a free monitor. View data on air quality in your classroom using our specially designed web app. Access curriculum linked resources and example experiments. Help scientists learn how to make schools healthier places. Find out more. Quick links. Getting involved guidance on monitor readings, ventilation tips. News and updates. News. Join Sam now. April 24, 2023. We're delighted to officially launch Sam this week and invite UK schools to register now. The first 100 schools to register for Sam will receive a special launch pack along with their monitor, so don't delay. Sam launch week. We're delighted to announce the official launch of Sam. SAM Launch Week is 24 to 28 April. From Monday, April 24, we invite schools across the UK to register as SAM schools to receive a high-spec air quality monitor and access to the SAM web app. SAM will be available to 1,500-plus schools, and we hope to recruit a wide diversity of schools across England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, representative of the whole UK school community. In the coming weeks you will see some changes to this website as we prepare for more traffic from people looking to register their school, find out more about the project or learn about indoor air quality. Beta testing nearly complete. February 24, 2023. Today is the International Day of Education and we want to celebrate our wonderful SAM Pioneer Schools. Over the last few months, they have been testing and reviewing important aspects of SAM to ensure that it meets schools' needs before it is shared more widely. With their feedback, we have revised our instructions for schools logging in and connecting their SAM monitors and improved the functionality of the data views on the web app. They have also tried out our first web app activities and helped us refine our in-app achievement structure and the reward strategy for how badges and certificates are gained. In our next release, Pioneer Schools will be invited to start testing our new Data Detectives activity, which will help students investigate spikes in their data, big but short-lived changes in the readings, and explore what could be causing them. That will bring our beta testing process with schools to an end. Our designers and software developers will continue to implement the feedback, create new activities, and tidy up the web app and this website ready for the SAM launch. We hope to share a date for that with you soon. Twitter Newsletters SAM Newsletter Number 3 March 2023 Discover the seven types of activity the web app will offer, including data detectives which Pioneer Schools are testing this week. See how they have helped us refine the air quality data plots, making them more usable and useful for pupil and teachers. Get excited about the in-app achievement pathways and rewards and the upcoming SAM launch. SAM Newsletter Number 2 December 2022 
Find out how our pioneer schools are helping us and what the web app looks like. Europe. Air pollution remains above who guidelines, kills 1,200 children in Europe each year. MM News. Exposure to nitrogen dioxide and ozone in the short term and fine particulate matter, PM2.5, in the long term, can affect children's lung. Air pollution is killing 1,200 children and teenagers in Europe each year, EA warns. Yahoo News UK Exposure to nitrogen dioxide and ozone in the short term and fine particulate matter, also known as PM2.5 in the long term, can affect. Air pollution causes premature deaths in European children, Health Policy Watch. Health Policy Watch some 97% of the urban population was exposed to concentrations of fine particulate matter, PM2.5, above the 2021 WHO annual guideline of 5 micrograms per cubic meter. Air pollution levels across Europe still not safe, especially for children. European Environment Agency, European Union In 2021, Upwards of 90% of the EU's urban population was exposed to harmful levels of nitrogen dioxide, ozone, and fine particulate matter, PM2.5. Air pollution causes over 1,200 childhood deaths annually in the European Union. Health Policy Watch Some 97% of the urban population is exposed to annual concentrations of fine particulate matter, PM2.5, above the 2021 WHO annual guideline of 5. Air pollution is killing 1,200 children and teenagers in Europe each year, EA warns. Euronews. Exposure to PM2.5, the most damaging pollutant to human health, was even higher at 97%. Fine particulate matter is a leading cause of. Clid equals IWER 0 iuigbgq 8 x 4 i 36 New York 2 underscore V9 underscore mod 4 0 VYM 1 7 MP9 1 Zlan 8 4 VCFS New DFK. Europe failing its children on air pollution, EEA says. Dirty air causes premature death of at least 1,200 children across Europe every year, says European Environment Agency. April 23, 2023. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to the subject of PM2.5 from residential wood burning. Breathing dirty air causes the premature death of at least 1,200 children across Europe each year, and many thousands more are afflicted with physical and mental health problems that could have lifelong impacts, according to the latest assessment of air pollution by the European Environment Agency, EEA. Children are more exposed to filthy air than adults because they have a faster breathing rate, are closer to the ground, and are outdoors more. About 110,000 disability-adjusted life years are lost across Europe each year in people under the age of 18, according to the study published on Monday by the EEA. Reducing the sources of air pollution, including coal and solid fuel burning, and industrial emissions, is... The UK was not included in the EEA's assessment, as the UK government has opted out of EEA membership post-Brexit, even though several other non-EU countries, including Norway, Switzerland and Iceland, are members. The EEA's publication, entitled Europe's Air Quality Status 2023, published on Monday, covers 37 countries, including all EU member states and countries such as Turkey, Serbia, Kosovo and Montenegro and examines air pollutants, including particulates. Eastern European states came out worst, largely owing to the burning of coal for domestic heating, along with Italy, where industrial pollution in the Pavali was identified as a key problem. Across Europe, 97% of the population, of all ages, were exposed to levels of air pollution higher than those deemed safe by the World Health Organization, according to the EEA. The EU is aiming to limit PM2.5, particles that are 2.5 microns or less in diameter, to 10 micrograms a cubic meter by 2030, among actions which should cut premature deaths owing to air pollution by 55% by 2030. WHO guidelines are for 5 micrograms a cubic meter for PM2.5.